good morning students today we will discuss about the structure of cell in unu and this is the picture showing the cross section of the cell and the mantle which is showing the three layers periostracum prismatic layer and the nacreous layer and these are the nacric and secreting cells of the mantle and these are the connective tissues ciliated epithelium and more will be discussed in the upcoming slides myself dr balram sai assistant professor in geology government dumur college bikane structure of cell in unio the cell in unio is studied under three headings that is the structure of cell from outside structure of cell from inside and the structure of cell in microscopic section structure of cell from outside this is the picture showing the cell of unio from outside the cell is brown or mud colored and show the important features which are as follows at the extreme anterior dorsal side is a knob like structure with a white swelling termed as umbo this is a place from where the outermost brown or gray horny covering of the cell has been dissolved away by the action of carbonic acid in water and white calcareous prismatic layer is exposed umbo represents the first form shell of the larva concentric rings or lines of growth start from the umbo these are the concentric lines of growth which are starting from umbo again another lines of growth these all are lines of growth we start from the umbo and successively pass on the free edge of the wall in the anterior dorsal side and extending backwards is a dark colored hinge ligament here you can see the hinge ligament which helps in opening the cell walls and by which walls are united another things highlighted in the picture are the excellent siphon inhalant siphon protruded foot then the mantle edge if we talk about the structure of cell from inside after removing one of the cell walls a few conspicuous markings the muscle impressions are seen on its inner pearly surface which will be more clear by the picture toward the towards the anterior that is the broader side of the cell is a large oval anterior adductor impression a small anterior retractor impression above and a protractor impression below which is clear from the picture similarly but only two and towards the posterior end are the posterior adductor here you can see the impression of the posterior adductor impression and posterior retractor impression the first one is larger than the anterior adductor impression you can see the posterior adductor impression is larger than the anterior adductor impression running in between the two adductor impressions and parallel to the edge of the wall is a thin shallow pallial impression or the pallial line 
here you can see the pallial line running and faint lines may be seen to converge from the muscle impressions to the umbo indicating gradual shifting of the body and muscles away from the umbo as the animal grows in size with the age next is the structure of unio cell in microscopic section this is a picture showing the cross section of the cell and mantle in which different layers we will be discussing in the section the cell has three layers an outer brown horny layer the periostracum this is the periostracum which is protective and is made up of horny organic material called conchiolin below it is the middle layer this is the middle layer is a thick prismatic layer made of vertical crystals or prisms of calcium carbonate separated by conchiolin the innermost nacreous layer is or commonly termed as the mother of pearl is made of alternate layers of calcium carbonate and conchiolin here you can see alternate pattern in the nacreous layer the hinge ligament is made of uncalcified conchiolin and it is continuous with the periostracum reserve calcium carbonate for the two inner layers of the cell is stored in certain cells of the digestive gland the nacreous layer is thickest at the umbo this is the nacreous layer which is thickest at the umbo and thinnest at the cell margin it is used for manufacturing buttons and in formation of the cell the periostracum is laid down by the outer lobe of the mantle whereas the prismatic and nacreous layer are secreted by the entire outer surface of the mantle though the nacreous layer is also secreted by the thickened lower edge of the mantle that's all in today's lecture in the upcoming lectures we will discuss more about the union thanks a lot